Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to make a flange. This is the drawing of the flange which we are going to draw in 2D and then we will convert into 3D. How this flange look like in the end? Let's have a look. This flange will look like this. End of this video. So let's start. So we have to first on ortho mode press function and F8 key. The ortho is on now. And the first distance is 589. We will create line on the midpoint here. So now we have to offset typo select distance is 540 divided by 2. Then offset again select and distance is 470 divided by and we have offset vertical 37 and we have offset 2 we will join this one Or trim type tier, this one. Again, now we have offset three eighty seven. Offset and 387 divided by 2. Again, offset, enter, distance 406 divided by 2. And then, offset again, distance 456 divided by 2. We have offset 37 and we will offset this one 37. seven. offset 127. We will trim this one. We have chamfer 5. So here at the rate 5 angle 2 to 5. And we have here offset 8. We will trim this one. And we will match this one to here. We will trim this one. Trim this one and we will trim this one. And 
now we have 29 mm hole here so we will offset 29 divided by 2 and now we have to make this center line this one so for that we have to type lt line type select click on load and you can select here center line I want one more hidden line also okay okay now select these lines type ch change properties and select here center line and change the scale and 4 is ok now you we have to we are using match properties select this one and this one you use f8 function f8 So we have fillet radius here, fillet radius, fillet radius 5 for this one and 3 for this one. Now we will do the hatching. We will mirror this one. For hatching type H and here change this one. Select this, this one. Enter. You can change the scale of the hatching. Type H E. Hatch edit. Select this one. Enter. And you give a scale here, 2.5. In this way, we draw the two geometry of this flange. And now we will do the dimensioning. Type D. This diamond dimension style box is open. Here you can change the color. Extension color is CN and I will make this one 5. Extend view dimension. So this is Six. My text color is green. It is six point five here, and then decimal zero. Apply. Close. We will make the dimension here. Go to annotate. In this, this one to this one, you can drag and you can do whatever you want with the dimension. Select this one and Seven, two, and again, 
We will use here dimension radius R3 R5 So, so now we have to put the diameter symbol here Type edit ed and Sixteen, sixteen hole here. So we have to be there. This one. Type polar. And axis rotation is this one. So here you have to put here number of items sixteen. And then it will calculate the angle. Twenty three is the angle between everyone but in flanges the flanges holes are not in the 90 degree we have to rotate because 23 degrees is the angle so half is 11.75 here we will rotate this one 11.5 and now we will do the array so we will extrude this one first click on extrude enter like this and then we will do type AR array select this one type polar select this one and type here 16 and close array and now we will subtract this one click this subtract here select this flange enter
again select subtract this one enter subtract this one so our flange is completed now so we will go top view here so it is not required we will move this one and delete these lines this is my astro point view in this way we create the flange in 3d so you can apply the material here type mat select and here we have metal here you can apply anyone so i will apply here aluminium polished so you can see only material when you click on realistic so this material is applied in this way you can choose any material you can change the setting of this material here by click on visualize select here explore new setting you have to click on here and use this one and background you can change as per your own requirement so we have a solid and i will change this color to white and here you can change the exposure in this way you can change anything this is brass so this is satin green this is polished brown checker plate and we have in the down here we have uh stainless polished and we have tight steel here use the steel again you can increase and decrease the exposure so it in steel it, it look like this and you want to apply titanium here this is titanium in this way we create the flange in auto get 3d if you have any comment related to this flange modeling in 3d uh, please do comment below in the comment box if you like my tutorial please give thumbs up and subscribe thanks for watching